All right, welcome back to Elite Dangerous. I'm checking out a distress beacon because this can be interesting. I I, I was cruising around. I just got back from uh, a Hutton orbital run, <laughs> and uh, let me let me land here. Can I talk and land at the same time? All right, after <laughs> after hitting just about every rock on this planet, I just got back from a Hutton orbital run. Look at the gifts. See that I'm pointing to them, but uh, see the bobblehead gifts? Yeah, I did the Christmas thing. It's over on the Tolacram 2 channel if you want to watch the stream of it. It's a pretty long quest, and the last step includes a uh, one hour and ten minute ride to uh, Hutton Orbital. But anyway, I came back to this planet on the way to somewhere else, and I scanned it, and I just happened to find this distress beacon, and these can be kind of fun, so I figured I'd do it and again let me let me retarget that distress beacon it's right there there it is and we're probably it's, it's probably going to be defended so we're going to creep up to it all right well apparently it's not defended so that's good so let's uh, get out of the turret a minute and let's back up and we, we have some supplies that we can pick up here so let's uh, target this one it's a canister of personal weapons to drop the old uh, cargo scoop. Same thing. I know the canister looks bigger than the dune buggy, but it can still be picked up. And we have a number of canisters here. So I'm going to pick up all these canisters. You see another one over there. Canister of narcotics. Ooh, look at this. Now this is cool. See this little thing here? This is a material. Chemical manipulators. No idea what it's used for, but we'll pick it up. The nice thing about that is it doesn't go to inventory. Well, it goes to the other inventory. We have a body. <laughs> you can turn these in for credit. Can't help but think these might be illegal. But, uh, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so the, the cargo holds at maximum capacity. I have, I have managed to jump straight in the air. So what I'm gonna do now... Ooh, is this something? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get back to the, uh, that's another escape pod, I think. So we'll go back to the ship. All right, so so I did this excellent job driving, trust me. We're, get, we're going to go over to uh, 4, and we're going to go to the inventory panel. And on the inventory panel, we see we have occupied escape pod, narcotics, personal weapons. We're going to go, this is an incredible interface. We're going to go over to transfer, hit the space button. Gonna go up, 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 transfer all to ship. We're going to confirm the item transfer. Now you see our uh, scarab capacity is zero of four. And uh, we can get off this. And then we're gonna go back for more. All right, and when you come back, degraded power regulator. Okay, we're gonna have to get out of the ship to get that. So that's cool. I'm, I'm glad it shows up on the... Uh, in the scarab and ship data core. So that's both clues. You need your arc cutter suit to get those. That's Odyssey, if you will. I think there's one more, one more that we can get over here. Yeah, it's another occupied escape uh, pod. I'm sure these guys are okay. There we go, we pick them up. All right. So now let's, let's hop over here. And then let's uh, let's hop out in our uh, hit the handbrake, and hop out in our um, in the appropriate suit, the Maverick suit. All right, and now we have to. Yeah, yeah. So you have to find where it is. There, there's a clue right there. So it's a mag lock. So I want to use this as the cutter. Yep. And you see it turns green. Chop it down. There we go. Open it up. And it looks like I can take these things. I can take this. And this. And this. And this. And this. And open this. And take the regulator. And we'll, we'll close it. 
And that's it. Okay, so now there was one other thing that we could see with the scarab. And uh, you can't see it with your suit, is the thing. Oh, wait, look, there's a barrel over here. Is this what it was? I think this is what it was. All right, I was wrong. We, we could only cut into the ship once. What is this? I can't see what this is. All right, let's get back to the dune buggy and pick that up. And that might be it. This is different. All right, let's try this. This is another canister of narcotics. Of course it is. Oh, cargo scoop's closed. That's open. All right, now let's turn around and see if we can figure out where that ship data core is. I believe the ship data core is Horizons gameplay, not Odyssey gameplay. So, we're going to hop up in the turret. We're going to change to analysis mode. And we're going to right click is the key. And this is how we get the data from the ship data core. All right. Scan complete, data encrypted. Okay. So that is how you do this. I'm doing the inventory Fandango again. I've only got two of four, but I'm going to dump them all because I'm going to reload. Transfer all to ship. Confirm my item transfer. And get out of here. Alright, so I've dumped the inventory. And uh, I'm here right in front of the distress beacon. So what you can do if you want to is that you can exit to main menu. And I am in solo mode to do this. And look at that snowflake paint job, would you? And let's get back in. Let's get right back in. Solo play. Alright, boom. And as soon as we log in, you can see that canister rolling around. It's like they just wrecked. And all the stuff is back. And you can do the same thing over again. Let's hit the... Uh, let's open the cargo scoop. And I'm just going to collect everything again. Including two more dead bodies. So look what I learned. For one thing, this is open again. But this stuff did not reset when uh, I restarted the game. But the canisters of material do. So you can't get this stuff, but you can get the canisters of material. So there you go. Your inventory is automatically transferred when you board the ship, so you don't have to worry about manually transferring it on the last, the last go around. Now, if you look over here, I've been to this distress beacon. There are there is another distress beacon and three minor wreckages. And if you look at the system that I'm in, I'm in a system with uh, anarchy basically. See the security level is anarchy, so I can't get in trouble for picking up anything or if I meet somebody for killing anybody. But I have to be careful about carrying some of these items into other systems. So just be aware of that. And if I find out that uh, I can't carry it into, like, a high-security system, uh, I'll let you know. There's no life on the planet, but you got to do a surface scan to get all the little points of interest, let's call them, to show up. There we go, 100%. All right. There we have a couple of them. See how they show up? Distress beacon, irregular markers. Uh, it's on the dark side of the planet. I really don't like that. We have any more regular? Oh, a minor wreckage, distress beacon, artificial structure. All right. Let's see if, if that's on the bright side of the planet or not. So as you close in on the planet, look at the yellow bar that just showed up. OC indicates orbital flight, so that's... And then DRP indicates you go into glide. Once you hit DRP, there's no going back. You're going to glide in. So you want to stay... Oh, this looks like it is on the bright side. So you want to stay way above drop. And uh, you'll see it turns blue to get over it. Now, when, when you go to blue, it goes up. And then if we go back down, I'm way off way off target but anyway as long as we don't hit drop as long as we don't hit drop we're okay I want to get over it so I can drop down at a nice angle and is this a good angle this is probably good enough up and down there we go all right this is good and we're gonna drop into glide here in just a second as soon as we hit the DRP. Oh, 
and then it looks like you're going to crash right into the planet. But the glide will stop at about 4 or 5k. We're pretty high. Normally, I don't recommend boosting straight into the planet, but uh, if you're far enough away, it works. Oh, look at that. Alright, I don't want to get too close to that. <laughs> I don't know what that is. But uh, we'll put the landing gear down at about a thousand feet, and I'll park a decent distance away. And there, 900 feet. We get really slow down here. Because we'll take the dune buggy over to get to this. And we'll probably have to battle little sentries. All right, if it's defended, it's going to warn us about it. There they are, a trespassing zone. See them? They're out. See the little sentries? All right, so I'm going to take it off of drive assist mode, so we stop. We're going to hit you to hop in the turret. And we're going to target these little suckers, these skimmers. And we're going to hit the right cockpit mode. And we're going to see if we can blow them up from here. Boom! <laughs> Get some dramatic music. You can see the shields are at 95%. You're all going down. Man, that guy's fast. Shields are at 79, so they're not really high risk. And see how everything went flying? Some of that stuff can be picked up. I think that's all of them. I don't see any more skimmers. So we hit you to hop back down. And we're gonna creep up now. I'm not in drive assist mode, so it's I'll push the keyboard. I'm hoping now they could have rolled downhill. Those skimmers can sometimes drop really cool things like grid resistors and other goodies. I don't know if they dropped anything this time or not. I'm gonna they would have been rolling downhill, so I'm just going to look over here and see if I see anything. Alright. So normally, right here is where the skimmers would have attacked. You have to get all the way into the trespass zone. Okay, now, see this tall antenna, active data point? So what we want to do is hit the handbrake, hop back up in here, put it in analysis mode, target it, and you right-click to scan it. New data discovered. Open symmetric keys. All right, and we have an incoming message. Let's see what that. Uh, let's see what that message is. I'm curious. And again, I will never hit the right buttons in my life. Data link scanner. Open symmetric keys. Serious money to be made here, but don't lose your personal key. Otherwise, you'll be locked out permanently, and get nothing at all. Symmetric keys update. Damn, this is going to be good. Somehow I don't think these keys are going to give me any money. Well, I don't see a way to get into anything here. It doesn't look like there's any Odyssey, you know, ground type of things here. I went around that building, which uh, doesn't really fit into the ground right. I went around these barrels. So that's it for this. I'm under attack. I was scanning. Shields are down to 50%. This... I should be able to get away. He's still firing at me. I think I got away. Whoo, boy. Now, what did he say to me? It's the ship. You're mine now. You choose death then very well. Well, I was in the middle of something. <laughs> All right, I've completed the system scan. Now we have to go over here to the system map. And the one I want to land on is this one, this first one with the atmosphere. It's pretty easy because this one, they're both landable. But it was A1 that had the interesting markers. All right, so this planet has... 
the stratum on it, which is uh, pretty high quality. It's pretty high value. It's like worth 20 million. So uh, I, I scanned this on another account. Yeah, I have more than one. But, uh, and it was during the scanning that I found this wreck that made me curious about all these various points of interest that show up on a planet after you scan it. So here's an impact site. Yeah, let's go to this one. Should be on the daylight side and I should be able to get some plants and make 20 million at the same time. The plants we need should be just on the edge of these uh, these rocks. So we'll get two, two things done at once. So I just... redeemable. Okay, so... I was doing some plants on the stream the other day, and when I came back to sell stuff, it didn't sell the last plant. So I just hopped out, and I did a right click to do one of these, and it finished. It went through the motions to finish the last scan. So, there's that. Alright, the plants show up as these little blobs on the ground. I'm just gonna go, I think there's some over there. It's never easy, but for 20 million, I'll do it. This is stratum. These are these plants that just they stick to rocks, basically. I, I found they're some of the easiest to find just because they, they're so weird looking from a distance. All right, last one. Then we get back in the ship, change suits. Let this thing finish. Learn that the hard way. And now we can get back in, change suits. Alright, let's put up the turret. Make sure we're in combat mode. And I think we can knock these guys out. That's one. And they seem not to be fighting bears too. Are there any more? We didn't even take a hit. Hmm. There's one over there. Stinger is what it says. Let's see if we can get up on a hill here. Where we can get it. Boom! Alright, any more? That might be it. Let's get down below. It would be nice if some material dropped out of those things, but uh, boy, finding it's going to be interesting. It's private. Incoming message. New data discovered. Unusual encrypted files. Hey, and I can access this from here. I didn't know that. Bandwidth insufficient. Adjusting downlink parameters. Bandwidth secure. Downloading proceeding. Loading encrypted files. Hmm. Alright, is there anything else here? Hopefully it's not just a data point. Pretty cool. <laughs> but... Well, now I'm entering. So the restricted area is just around this, the data point. Well... Geronimo! I wonder if there's something over there. I doubt it. Yep, this was a big old bag of nothing. Alright, let's see if I can get the ship to land somewhere decent. Odds are, no. Oh, uh, you're too close. I can't believe I'm saying you're too close. But that's a lot closer than I think you should land. You gonna pick that little spot over there? I don't think this is going to work. How about that snowflake paint job? That might work. It did work. Amazing. Let's get in the ship. It says my legal status is clean, so apparently I don't have any illegal or what's 
thought to be illegal materials on me, even though I've got narcotics. And narcotics could be legal drugs, you know? Interdicted right next to the surface of the star. Bastards. It's alright, I can escape. He can't get close either, one would hope. We got it, we got this, we got this, we got this. I was fuel scooping too. Where's where's the star? It looks like I fuel scooped the whole time. Okay, oh there it is. <laughs> no, don't go close. No, he's out of control. We're good. Good. Fuel scooping is complete. What a disaster. And we've landed. Let's go underneath. And let's see, you never know what kind of contacts these little stations are going to have. We do have universal cartographics. Let's see if we can sell anything. 192,000. It's not bad. And then, do we have administrative contacts? We do search and rescue contacts. So we've got some uh, dead bodies, some occupied escape pods. Escape pods typically made from composite materials, designed to withstand extremes of pressure and can be protect a single occupant in the event of ship destruction. So I've got two of these. Apparently it only thinks I have one, so I can offload at least one for 30,000. Two, three, four. I have four escape pods for 120. It's not much. But hey, it's something. Incoming message. And uh, apparently I probably... I don't have any hostages. I don't have any political prisoners. Personal effects. Hmm. Okay. Then let's go over to administrative contact, and I don't think... Ah, a couple of rewards. Intel packages. For the Federation and for the Alliance. Interesting. I guess I've, I've helped out my standing. Pilots Federation wants to give me 50 grand. And that's it. Hand yourself in. No. Never. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it for this. Okay. And then... As far as selling goes... Whoops. And then as far as a commodities market goes, let's see what we have picked up. And we have five narcotics. And you can see here, I can definitely get more money for this. But uh, I don't feel like going to a website, so... We're gonna we're gonna take fifty one thousand, which is profit since I picked them up. We'll go ahead and sell these. And is narcotics? No, we have personal weapons, and personal weapons, you know that's fine. Three of them for fourteen thousand seven hundred and seventy two. There, get get the cargo. I'm, my cargo is now empty, so now I don't have any cargo for anybody to bother me with. All right. Let's see if I can use something else on the galaxy map. Let's do, let's limit the population. And let's set the min pretty large. And see this, this doesn't really work when you first hit it. And then you go to map mode and, ah, I had this filtered. I wanted to add low security, okay. Now I've added low security and anarchy, and now it should only be showing those places above a certain population level. All right, and where I'm going didn't have it, but this little dude, Metayati, does, and this is Federation 1.1 million low security industrial. This should have some ports here, and I can't buy system data. Man, gone are the days when you can buy system data, but it's just one jump. So let's go there. All right, what's this system have to offer? We have arrived. Not much, but we do have the Moray Gateway. Good enough. Backspace. 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 Yay. Okay, Commander. Your assigned landing pad is number yeah, Look at that. One. Just dark blue. And I believe that's actually facing the star here. So it's just one planet really far away from the star. I'm going to Vista Genomics and see how much the plant I just scanned and the one I scanned 
Oh, I guess that was Friday night on when I streamed it. Good old Vista Genomics. Yes. Hopefully that one plant's still worth 19 million. Well, let's please, see please, what please, you please, 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 please. Looks like it. Yep, 19 million. This is the uh, the stratum, the flat plant, and then this uh, this other plant here. This one. This is the sacked sack sack. Yeah, well, it's only worth 1.6 million, so I didn't miss much. Oh well. Both of them for 20 million, I'll take it. Thank you very much. Uh, what's my current balance? 322 million, 392,925. Vista, thanks you for your contribution. You're so welcome. Hmm. All right, well, I made some cash. I did some uh, some odd missions. You can see that they're not worth that much, but you can get materials, and materials can be used for some of the engineers later. I don't know. You know? It's it's supposed to be a rather realistic game, and I find some of that stuff fun, as long as uh, I don't do too much of it at the same time. Anyway, that's going to be it for this time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you later.